Ew, what the heck? Ooh, it's an anglerfish. That's that's pretty creepy. Oh my god. Hey everyone, welcome back to another Terraria video. Today we have a special texture pack installed called Fish Raria. And guess what it does? It turns a bunch of enemies and bosses into fishes. Some of them are fishes, some of them are aquatic creatures. We're about to see here today. So let us start with the pre-hard mode bosses here, starting with the the king slime of course and let's see what type of crustacean slash aquatic ew what the heck what is this thing this is just disgusting i see like a like a tuna head on top i don't know what fish that is i'm just guessing uh when it teleports it drops the head that's also disgusting i don't know what the hell this is but let's go ahead let's kill it see you later it, it gets tinier when you kill it too even more disgusting but there you go there was the king slime next up we have the eye cthulhu I i'm kind of interested to see what the flying ones are gonna be what the hell is that is that a seashell it looks like a seashell now i want to see the second phase here i'm expecting the shell to be open or is this a clam this might be a clam whatever close enough but let's go ahead let's see the phase two does it open up it does okay and then what is that like the the pearl this might be a muscle this might be a muscle okay not not the greatest looking one if i'm being completely honest i feel like there's a couple other uh creatures they could have chose there i don't know like a flying hermit crab a jellyfish i i don't know you know what i do know about today's sponsor today's sponsor is the ridge wallet this light and sleek wallet easily fits into your front pocket without having a weird bulge like old leather wallets do the ridge wallet holds up to 12 cards in cash there's also a a ton of different colors and designs to choose from you can choose designs like carbon fiber and woodland camo the team at ridge is confident you'll love the wallet so they'll let you test drive it for 45 days you can send it back for a full refund if you don't love it since the wallet is made from a durable material it comes with a lifetime warranty meaning you could buy this one wallet and carry it for your whole life I've been using the Ridge Wallet for around a couple of months now, and without being overly dramatic, it has been pretty life-changing. Many times I've had my old leather wallet bulge and slip out of my pocket when I sat down either in someone's car or in public. But ever since I switched to the Ridge Wallet, I've never had that problem happen to me. So what are y'all waiting for? Get 10% off today with free worldwide shipping and returns by going to ridge.com slash raiders and use code raiders. Link will be in the description and comment section. Let's hop back into the video. So we can see here there's a wandering eye and a demon eye, both fishes, very nice. Or I guess we just pretty much saw that one, a clamshell. Okay, it might be a little dark here, but we're in a different world because we're trying to see Skeletron. Uh, I think it's nighttime, so I'm sorry you missed uh, clothier yeah what the heck is this this is like a king crab what the hell are those things called it's those very like tall crabs i don't remember what they're called but these things are this is terrifying it's also pretty cool too i, I think i like this one the most so far all right we are here in the corruption i'm very excited to see what the eater of worlds is gonna be maybe a eel it's looking like an eel oh yes this is what i like to see i can i can mess with the eel being the eater of worlds this makes me wonder what the uh destroyer is gonna be maybe a different type of eel i don't know but this one this one's my favorite now all right let us go ahead and see the queen bee next no idea what this one's gonna be Ooh, it's an angler fish. Very, very cool. Is that what it's called? I don't know. I'm just, I'm just making shit up. It's the fish you see very deep in the water. Mariana Trench type beat. I don't think it's going to have any other transformations here. The little bees, I can't really tell what they are. They're just, they're just really tiny fish that are trying to bite me. But this one is also very cool. I like this one. All right, let's go ahead and check out the Brain of Cthulhu. Now, I'm expecting a jellyfish. We haven't seen a jellyfish yet. We have seen a jellyfish in the uh, Chinese mobile sprite uh texture pack oh this looks like a jellyfish i don't know what type of jellyfish oh i like that there's bubbles as the creepers that's very cool but let's go ahead let's kill all the bubbles and then let's see what phase two looks like okay that's that's a little terrifying I, i'm not gonna lie that's that's pretty creepy uh this is the last thing i expected from that like derpy looking jellyfish a second ago all right let us go ahead and check out the wall of flesh this is another one i'm very interested to see because we've seen some creativity so far 
in terms of uh, bosses that could be fishes. So let us see what this one is. Wait, I don't have a guide in this world. God damn it. All right, I had to make a new world here for the uh, wall of flesh. And I noticed the guide. He's looking a little bit different. I don't know. It might just be me, but the guide is looking a little different. I kind of feel bad if I have to kill him now because he, he looks like uh, he looks like he wouldn't hurt anyone. Well, actually, I don't think the regular guide would hurt anyone, which is kind of a problem because he'd be, he'd be letting in zombies and shit. So let us go down to hell and let us see the wall of flesh what is that thing demon that's a very scary looking fish i think that's a proper description but let us see the wall of flesh which side oh my god i see an eyeball i see nemo oh my what the hell is this thing what the heck this looks like a wall of obsidian with a mouth and nemo that's that's what i'm getting from this i legit i don't know what this is <laughs> Maybe it's like a, what's that called? Sea anemone, 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 uh, something like that. Because that, that's what I'm assuming the uh, clownfish are for. But uh, this is this is pretty terrifying. I, I think this one's pretty cool too. We are in the hollowed biome to see the queen slime. Okay, the boss portrait looks regular or the boss bar looks regular. Okay, they did not touch the queen slime at all. That's interesting because this is a 1.4 texture pack so I, I, I don't know all right so let us see the mech bosses here hopefully these dudes are all changed what in the hell am i looking at are these also seashells i don't know what the hell these are I, i'm noticing this with a lot of these sprites is that they're so like weirdly sprited uh that i can't tell what half of them are so let us see phase two of both of them what even is this thing yeah i still don't know what the hell these things are but uh interesting to say the least next up let's move on to skeletron prime uh this dude also looks like a crab this might be the crab i was talking about is it like this is a word is it like atlantic crab alaskan crab something like that king crab it's some sort of some certain type of crab this one and skeletron are but this one is not that bad at least i could tell it's a crab this one i'm hyped for the most the destroyer it's gonna be a like a moray eel oh look at that this is awesome this is definitely giving me some subnautical vibes some calamity abyss vibes right here this thing is fucking sick even the probes are a little tiny fish too but this thing for sure is my favorite this in the eater of worlds all right so i think this world is straight up cursed you just saw me kill the three mech bosses but plantera bulbs straight up just don't spawn on this world i've been in this world since like the beginning of recording 1.4 videos i don't know the plantera bulbs just don't spawn no plantera bulbs means i can't fight the golem no golem means i can't fight the moon lord so i have to go to a different world or i have to go borrow somebody's world because of that stupid shit but let's see the empress of light okay the empress of light has a sprite i don't know why the queen slime doesn't i don't know what the hell this thing is this is a cuttlefish right that's what it looks like the empress of light has phases right see this is how you know i haven't fought it ever well actually i fought it like two times is there a phase where it looks different oh look at the eyes are glowing wow this fight is so easy you guys said this fight is hard god mode makes it so easy all right the duke is already a fish so i don't know what the hell i expected by checking him out okay i found a world this world actually is too bad look at this there's plantera bulbs like right here there's a queen bee thing right there very very nice there's our callus stuff there's tents this is definitely a t-edit world t-edit modified world i believe the creator of this world is rezo drizzle so shout out to them i think that's how you spell their name i'll leave the link and stuff in the description but let's break a plantera bulb this took way too long to find out how to do uh whoa what the hell even is this thing i feel like i know what this is i just don't know the name like i've seen it before i don't know i might be thinking of that uh purple guy in uh pikmin 2 you know what i'm talking about but this thing it looks pretty cool even though i can barely tell what it is it enters into phase two here and i still can barely tell what it is it has to be a jellyfish of some sort right i don't know L let's just kill it see this is what i like to see in a journeys mode world what the hell is going on with the background here i don't know what's going on with the map in general i think the map is messed up because of this world being t-edited but shout out my boy rezo drizzle again because this world is pretty dope for uh you know checking out everything but let us see what the golem is what the hell is this like some food my boy got the the chicken pop pie no that's not what this is i don't know <laughs> it's just it's some sort of food and i think that's pretty funny that's creative let's see uh phase two here and see what that looks like i swear the head's supposed to start floating isn't that a part of the golem oh wait there you go that's phase two 
all right very interesting all right next up we have the moon lord uh there might be a couple other things i missed but for now let me just get the main bosses done here i don't think the cultists or the uh pillars have anything changed but let's just check the moon lord out because this is the one i'm excited for the most and you're gonna see why we just gotta wait 10 minutes for the boss to spawn in as per usual with the moon lord oh my god as you can see there's a reason why i wanted to see this this looks a lot more phallic well, i don't know if phallic is the word anymore this looks a little bit more naughty than before the little slits it has but this this is amazing you can't tell me otherwise these uh tentacles are kind of floating around but it's still cool like this is sick i love the idea of this this was the main thing that caught my eye when i saw this texture pack i love it all right and here is the final phase big giant scary looking eye still looks cool let us go ahead and kill it see the death animation here Oh, and then it explodes into the regular Moon Lord bones. But that was amazing. Oh, the credits are playing. I don't want to see this. All right, so I'm going to go through the files and I'm going to see what other bosses or creatures that are cool enough to look at in game. That's if I can look at them in game because, you know, Journey's mode is a very shitty creative mode. So it's not like I can just spawn in enemies unless they have statues. But yeah, let me go look at the files. Okay, so I didn't find anything that's really worth looking in game for. So what we have here is just a bunch of pictures and stuff of this mod if you wanted to see some things like this weird looking cloud uh but yeah as you can see there's a good bit of enemies that are straight up added into this uh i don't know what enemies are each of these because most of them don't have a name this looks like this might be a zombie of some sort uh and as you can see a bunch of this this is just straight up like sushi at this point <laughs> i love the creativity on the uh things that i can tell what they are but some things i feel like are a little like sprite a little sprited weird and i can't tell what the hell they are uh for example example the twins i have no idea what the hell the twins were but a lot of these things are really cool even like some backgrounds are changed like this background look at this turned into fish bones and like big fish this one too it's giving me some uh spongebob vibes but yeah this is a very cool unique texture pack uh make sure to check it out i liked it a lot and thank you everyone for watching hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure to follow my twitch again if you don't know i'm going on a little vacation to visit my brother for two weeks so if the videos that come out are kind of weird old you know whatever you know why it's because they're like old stream highlights that i just randomly decided to highlight now while i'm gone but yeah i will see y'all next time